Hello friends and family from Universal Studios City Walk. Today we're going to be heading deep into Diagon Alley and the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. We're going to check out all of the newest merchandise. Hopefully we'll be able to get in all of the different stores and give you guys an entire tour of Diagon Alley and the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. It is so beautiful outside today. I'm excited to be here and show you guys around. But before we get started, if you would subscribe and click the bell notification so you wear future uploads and live streams we would greatly appreciate it like I was saying it is so beautiful outside today very very low crowd levels we have the Universal Globe over there let's head on in and go into Diagon Alley Okay, so we just made our way to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Right behind us is actually King's Cross Station. You can take the train over from Studios to Islands of Adventure and from Islands of Adventure over to Studios. You do need a park to park ticket. But a fun little fact, if you're over here, check out this direction right here. You can actually get a view of the Hogwarts Express. Before you do, do go into the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, definitely check out the night bus. You can head in the back of the night bus and actually get a view inside, which is really incredible and not a lot of people know about that. Also outside of King's Cross Station, before you even enter the park, they have a bunch of really awesome night bus merchandise. Here's a men's tank top, it says night bus. Those are $30 a piece, like that is really cool. Over here, there's also Wizarding World of Harry Potter keychain of the night bus. Their keychains are amazing at the Wizarding World. It even comes with a Wizarding World of Harry Potter little tag there. And they also have a women's version of the uh, night bus tank top. These are $33 a piece. That is really nice though, with a really nice neckline. I do want to show a couple other little offerings before we go in. A really nice night bus t-shirt, $29.95. And they even have a night bus hoodie. These are so soft though, those are $62 but they even have some metal earth on uh, night bus, little uh, do-it-yourself, no glue needed kits here. You can make your own night bus there, $30. You could even purchase your Grimald Place merchandise. This t-shirt is $35. They have the same difference in a tank top. Look at that, the London Borough, that is so nice. Those are $29.95. They even have a couple other offerings here for Grimald Place. They have a really nice beanie here for winter. That is all embroidered on there for $30. And a coffee mug over here. Those are $17 a piece. Now, without further ado, let's head in to Diagon Alley. Actually, a quality Quidditch supply. They're supposed to have some new Quidditch merchandise, and I'm really excited to see it for the first time. If you've never been to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter before, you're going to look for all of this uh, brickwork over here, and it's going to be just like it was in the movie with the moving bricks. It's really incredible. First stop on our merchandise tour, I do want to head into Quality Quidditch Supply. Like I said, they have some new merchandise and I do want to show you guys around the store. So as soon as you come in here, they have some really nice tumblers that have a uh, metallic finish there. You have the Gryffindor one, they have a Slytherin! Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff. These are stainless steel on the bottom. Those are $32 a piece. These are really nice though because they have like a little silicone grip around there which is really neat. And then down here are some awesome uh, long sleeve shirts. This one is the Ravenclaw one. They have some color contrast on the sleeves with the royal blue, the white, and then the uh, gray. On the sleeve itself though you have the Ravenclaw house crest. How much are those honey? $37. $37 a piece, but that's your Ravenclaw. Down here you also have Hufflepuff. Then there's your Gryffindor one, and of course you have your Slytherin. They have all the different houses. Let's see what's going on over here. This looks like a really fun board game actually, the Golden Snitch. 
Snitch Snatch or the Quidditch game. Like how cool is that? Look at the other side of there. You could actually see the board game all opened up. $42.95. They also do sell a lot of really nice Christmas ornaments. These are $19 a piece. Here's the Gryffindor one. Again, the attention to detail though, how they actually hang on the tree. Like that is really nice. They have the uh, Slytherin one right over here. And of course, Hufflepuff. I'm not saying the Ravenclaw one, but I'm sure they have it in a different store. And here is a really nice uh, lanyard for Hufflepuff that I haven't seen. Let's see here. That one is $15. Now look at this trophy that they have with the uh, Hogwarts there. That is actually really awesome. You have the Hogwarts house crest right underneath. That is really cool. And of course, you could even purchase your very own noble collection, Harry Potter broomsticks. Over here is the Firebolt broom. That there is $300. Here's some of the new drinkware that I was talking for the uh, Quidditch. You have the Slytherin cup right there, established 1269, Quidditch team captain for Slytherin. Those are really nice though. They do have little straws on the top. You have your Gryffindor one, team captain, Ravenclaw, and then Hufflepuff. They have the house crest on either side, and then uh, the R for Ravenclaw. Those are $22 a piece, and I love those. And it looks like they even have some over here like a little smaller version probably for the kiddos as a little button you push and the uh, little top opens up for the straw zero seven for harry potter gryffindor those are 17 dollars each over here in the back wall they have a brand new tote bag this is actually like really heavy duty it says hogwarts quidditch team captain with all the different hogwarts house colors you even have the uh, a zipper compartment on the side those are 70 dollars a piece like that is really nice and it does look like they have some brand new scrunch here to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. You get two different scrunchies for $25. So again, like they have lots of new Wizarding World of Harry Potter offerings. Like check out also these socks. Those are $17 a piece. You have your Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and then Hufflepuff. They do also have a couple really nice t-shirts. Look at that. It says Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Gryffindor. This is actually a really nice ringer tee. That one is $35. They actually have the same difference over here in a really nice tank top. Again, they have all the different houses. That one is $30. And I do want to point out a really nice picture frame that they have. This actually holds a 5x7 or a 4x6 photo. Those are $29 a piece. They do also have some brand new trucker hats with all of the different houses. And again, this is that new Quidditch merchandise. It says Slytherin. It's embroidered on there with the S. Then you have your Slytherin logo. The back side says Team Captain. They are $29 a piece. Over here is the brand new Gryffindor one. I love the colors on there, though. That looks really nice. And then up here, they do have a lot of different t-shirts. Gryffindor, Team Captain for Quidditch. Let's see here. $37 for them. And it does have a little patch there with the Hogwarts house crest. But over here is the uh, Slytherin. Then you have your Ravenclaw and then Hufflepuff. Let's actually check out the uh, Trekker hats in all of the houses. Here's a really nice Ravenclaw one with your Ravenclaw house crest, team captain. And of course, we have to give Hufflepuff some love. Let's check out that hat. This one actually might be my favorite. I really like the colors on this one. The cool thing with the Wizarding World of Harry Potter stores, right now we're in quality Quidditch, but that also spills into Sugar Plums and Weasley Wizard Wheezes. So we'll check out the other two stores while we're in here. Like I was saying, it kind of spills into the other stores. I do want to show some of the candy while we're over here. Look at the boxes on these though. Fizzing Whizbees are my favorite candy in all of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. These are so delicious. Let's see here, $11 for the fizzing whizbees and then over here look at that you got some fudge flies chocolate flavored fudge flies for the box of those let's see yeah i'm not seeing the price on them but that is really fun and of course they do have like different things like you'll have over here pink coconut ice you have a creamy coconut confection like that is really interesting and they do also have some sugar quills all different colors like they have pink purple blue six dollars a piece and you can actually write with them over here's the boxes of the birdie bots every flavored beans just like they were in the movie 
Steel wax. You got to keep the packaging on these though because they're incredible. Those are $13 a box. And of course, I have to show you guys the chocolate frogs. These aren't real frogs, are they? They now have milk chocolate and dark chocolate. They are three for $35 at the moment. And you do get your wizarding card inside. That's such a great deal though. You have to buy a chocolate frog if you're here in the wizarding world. They do also have merchandise specific to Sugar Plum Sweet Shop, like these big bars of milk chocolate. That's actually 3.5 ounces. That is a very large bar. It says Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And they do have different size lollipops down here. Again, they feature Sugar Plums. This is the larger size. That is so big though. Then they also have a smaller one over there. Two different colors of these. Also with the Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans, they have some brand new Christmas ornaments. It actually looks like the beans are inside of the packaging. $25 for that. And then up here is like a, a thinner metallic version. That's actually really nice though. It says Wizarding World of Harry Potter on the other side. That is $15. And yet another new offering. They have a Birdie Bots Every Flavored Bean Purse. Like how fun is that? It actually comes with the uh, little, little straps over here which are gold. Like that is really neat. And they have a brand new Birdie Bots Every Flavored Bean Puzzle. That there is $30. Let's check out some of the awesome new merchandise here at Weasley Wizard Wheezes. Look at this, you have Phoenix Fire Putty with metallic strands. Look at, oh my gosh, there's actually a bunch of them. We got Troll Boggy, Love Putty, those are $20 a piece. Here's the Pixie Mischief one, and then up here is the uh, Troll Boggy. Some of the other offerings you can find here at Weasley Wizard Wheezes, they have uh, wizard cards just like they have in the movie. They do say Wizarding World of Harry Potter, $16.95. And look at the uh, little robot here. These are definitely like very, very retro. They come in some awesome packaging, $32 for them. And they do even have the decoy detonators, just like they had in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. That is so much fun, $20. And if you're in here in Wiz Weasley Wizard Wheezes, of course, don't forget to look up. You never know what you're going to find. You might even find Dolores Umbridge over there. Look at her. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Here's a really fun t-shirt with the puking pastels. And then you have You Know Poo. You have the uh, Skiving Snap Box. And then down here it says Range of Sweets that will to make you ill. That one is $35. I love that shirt. Like that graphic is really, really cool. Let's see what else we can find though. You have some exploding snaps. That is really interesting. Again, this is a, a fast paced game with explosive possibilities. $17 for that. And they do have a really awesome uh, puzzle set here. You get five different puzzles. They are 200 pieces each and a thousand in total. Let's see how much they are. I'm not seeing the price on that, but that is actually really cool. These are Noble Collection. Of course, if you're here at Weasley Wizard Weezes, you have to look at the Pygmy Puffs. And here's where you have to do it because you can actually adopt the Pygmy Puffs and they do a whole ceremony. The large ones are $34.95. Look at this, they have a big pink one up there kind of staring at us. And they do have those also in little keychain form. They have the uh, pink Pygmy Puff and then the uh, purple one. $15 a piece, and you can't go wrong with the adult size Pygmy Puff slippers. Like, look at the little faces on there, and they are so fuzzy. Also, if you're here at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and Diagon Alley, if you are looking to buy a wand, you can even check out Wands by Gregorovich. Gregorovich, there's usually never too much of a line like there is over at Ollivander's, but they actually sell the same wands. So definitely check out Wands by Gregorovich. Next up on our shopping tour, let's head into the travel agents over here at Globus Mundi and check out all of the merchandise in there. Inside of Globus Mundi, look at these t-shirts. Explore Mystical Diagon Alley. You have the Gringotts Dragon with the bank there. Like that is a lot of fun. Let's see here, they are $27 for those. And then over here, I do wanna show you an awesome mug that they have. Look at that though, Explore Diagon Alley. Those are, let's see, $19 for that one. And then they do have uh, Visit Enchanting Hogsmeade there with uh, Hogsmeade Castle and then you have the village of Hogwarts, $19.
They do also have the t-shirts for Visit Enchanting Hogsmeade there with Hogwarts Castle. The main entrance to Hogsmeade, $27 for those. I actually like the graphics on there. They look really good. And then over here, they do have the keychains that match that whole set. Visit Hogsmeade, Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And then over here is the uh, matching one for Diagon Alley. I always like to check out the different posters and artwork in here. Look at this, uh, New York, you have the uh, City of Magic. You have a phoenix on top of the Statue of Liberty. They have a really fun one over here with Japan. Lots of really fun offerings though. Like look at this one up there with Scandinavia. And don't forget to look up because there are lots of brooms and magical things in here. I have to show you these really awesome suitcases. They have lots of leather accents and like everything is metallic on there. Like the finish is amazing. They have handles on either side. And look at this thing opened up. Like all the different zipper compartments. This is the Gryffindor. They are $195. Right up ahead they have an actual one with, with the uh, Hogwarts house crest. Over here is the Slytherin one. I can't hype these up enough though. Like they are absolutely just something else. And check out the different luggage tags that they have. This one has all of the different Hogwarts houses. Then you have Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. Those are $17 a piece. Let's see what else we have going on over here though. This actually says Gryffindor. This is a really nice like card holder. Maybe you can put uh, some other offerings in there. Those are $28 a piece, but you have your Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. And here's a few of the Metal Earth little sets that you can actually build. They have the uh, Hogwarts Castle one. That is $50. That is amazing though. And look at over there. You can actually get the uh, Hogwarts Express for $23. Here's some really nice merchandise with the Hogwarts Railroads. And then you have the Hogwarts House Crest. $36.95 for that shirt. That is really nice. And then over here you have Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Actual tickets. This one is London to Hogwarts. And then you get Hogwarts to London. $10.95. That's actually a really good deal for that. Like that's just like the movie. And then over here is a really fun backpack. It says one way travel London to Hogwarts. Actually comes with a little placard there that says London to Hogwarts. Those are, let's see here, $65. And then right under here, they actually have like a matching coin pouch for those for uh, $20. For $45, they have an awesome pillow that's embroidered on the one side, Hogwarts Railway, and then the Hogwarts House Crest. And then on the other side of the pillow, it actually says platform nine and three quarters. That is so incredible. A double-sided pillow, that is $45. And check out the awesome coffee mug that they have for Hogwarts, Hogwarts Railway, $17 for that. That's a really good size though. And they even have some like leather-bound tumblers here that say Hogwarts Railways. That is really interesting. It's actually like knitted there on the side. Let's see here, $24.95. You also can't forget to go into the Gringotts Money Exchange. You can actually exchange your U.S. notes for Gringotts Bank notes and meet a Gringotts Goblin. And how's this for a new item? You can get your very own Gringotts coin bank with the uh, dragon on top of the bank. Just like here in Diagon Alley, those are $40 a piece. And they do have a Gringotts bank. Look at that, the bank of Gringotts. This is a little backpack. That is awesome though, $60. It even comes with the Gringotts goblin on it. And look at this, they have the Magical Creatures Noble Collection. That is so awesome. With the, uh, this is number 10 of the series. That is really amazing. Next up on our magical Wizarding World of Harry Potter tour, let's head into Wise Acres, one of my favorite stores here at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So right off the bat, they have some awesome plastic cups. You have the uh, Gryffindor lion right there. It does say Gryffindor and Wizarding World of Harry Potter, $12 a piece. Right next door, you have the uh, Slytherin one with the snake, Slytherin, and then Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Like those are some really fun offerings. And check out the t-shirts, Courage, Determination, and Bravery, $30. You have the little Gryffindor logo on the sleeve, and they do have Slytherin right next door. 
You can even purchase some really awesome butterbeer themed merchandise like this one over here is like a barrel of butterbeer. This coffee mug, that is $25. And the fun thing, they do say Wizarding World of Harry Potter right underneath. They have a butterbeer ringer tea right there, which is really nice, $35. And of course, they also have a butterbeer hoodie. You can get all sorts of really awesome butterbeer merchandise, $62 for the hoodie. On this back wall section, they have some really nice hats. Look at that. Everything is embroidered. There is your Ravenclaw one. The back side of it actually says Ravenclaw, $27 a piece. Right next door is the Hufflepuff version. They do have Slytherin right there and also Gryffindor. Those are some really nice hats though. And here's the uh, Slytherin shirt for men. Ambition, cunning, and then pride. Let's see, $35. And right next door is an awesome Hogwarts beach towel for only $29. I like all the colors there of all the houses. It says Hogwarts. And it does have all the different Hogwarts house crests. Like that is really nice. And they do still have those awesome um, crew necks. Whoa, wowee, okay, I had to read that again. They are originally $70 a piece, now only $35. So they're having a sale on that. That is really amazing. It's embroidered Gryffindor on the uh, heart right there. And then you have Gryffindor going down the entire sleeve. It looks like they do have all the different houses though. Your Slytherin, your Ravenclaw, and then over here is your Hufflepuff. For $45, they have an awesome new Dobby action figure. I haven't seen this one before. Dobby is... His hands actually move up and down. His head moves like that is really cool. And check out the awesome Dobby t-shirt. It's like half of his face. That is $27. I actually really like that. Then they have a new coffee mug down here. It says free the house elves. You have Dobby. And then the other side says Dobby is free. $21 and it does say Wizarding World of Harry Potter. They do also offer a bunch of different cell phone cases. Like look at these, these are all for iPhone, but they do have them for a bunch of different sizes. $34, that's your Gryffindor one. And then over here they do have one with the Hogwarts house crest. That is really nice as well, $35. Let's see the other ones though. Here is the, uh, the Slytherin one right there. And then they also have the uh, Hufflepuff and then Ravenclaw. Of course, if you're over here in Scribulus, you have to check out the different like striped quills and all the different quills that they have to offer. $18.95 for the uh, long one right there. Then here is like your regular quill. Again, that's like an ink pen on the end. $15 for that. But they even have sets like this is the uh, Hufflepuff wax seal where you get the uh, two wax right there and then the wax seal. That $19.95, but there's some really awesome offerings in terms of notebooks. Like, look at this. It says, from the films of Harry Potter, Hufflepuff magic artifacts from the Wizarding World. So it actually comes with all these different things right there, like the pendant. You have some uh, little post-its, a pencil, $24.95. But I do want to show you the awesome like notebooks and things that they have here. This is actually like a whole patch that's on top of that notebook. It says Hogwarts, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, $25. Next stop on our Wizarding World of Harry Potter list, let's head over to Magical Menagerie. They have a lot of really incredible, like different creatures and stuffed animals, all sorts of awesome plushies. Outside of Magical Menagerie's assigned, it says Fur Friendly Flea Powder. Look at that, keep your pets clean, happy, and healthy. But you definitely always have to check out the uh, windows in all of these stores. They're truly just something else. Like I was saying, they have all sorts of awesome plushies. Like, look at the Buckbeak plushies. <laughs> How cool are they? $24.95 for Buckbeak. And then over here, they have Fluffy, the three-headed dog. Look at him popping out the bottom there. These are actually like really, really soft. $29.95, look at that. He's an actual puppet, like that is amazing. 
and look at the huge plushie that they have of Fang, $29.95. You can still see like all the wrinkles there on Fang's face, like that is really neat. And then over here, they also have a Thestral. It's very, definitely very, very dark. It has big wings. That is a large plushie though for $35. It looks like they even have a sword of different pygmy puffs. These are the ones that you actually squeeze and the pygmy puff makes noise. Yeah, that's adorable. Yeah, the pygmy puffs actually make noise. Let's see here. Those are $20 a piece. And if you are here in Magical Menagerie, definitely take a moment to look up ahead and check out all of these amazing sculptures and different creatures that they have. It is really just something else. Like look at over here, you have a bunch of uh, little pixies and sprites up there, all different sorts of baskets and little containment things. Speaking of pixies, they have a really nice v-neck tank top for women. This one here is an actual Cornish pixie. It might provoke them! <laughs> for $35 and these when I tell you are so soft and so thin like that is so nice right underneath they also have a, a bendable posable Cornish pixie himself like look at him there smiling at us with his big arms $16 Some other really nice plushies they have for the Wizarding World. You actually have these two smaller ones. One is Hedwig and then the other one they have Pidgewidge in. Let's see here how much for the pair. $35 for the pair of a smaller size plushies right there. And they do also have a little Hedwig plushie and his head actually turns. That's actually really interesting. Those are $40 a piece. I love that though. Like look at them. <laughs> and then up here is a Hedwig coffee mug. This one is very, very large in size and extremely heavy. You have Hedwig on either side, $21 only. Also on the back wall, they do have some fantastic beast and where to find them merchandise. Look at the Niffler here. And then it does have a tag there that says Fantastic Beast. This is an actual lounge fly bag. They are $82 a piece. And they do have a, a matching wallet to that. Look at the Niffler, $55. Looks like he has a whole pocket there of gold coins. And it says Fantastic Beast lounge fly. I can never get enough of the view here going down Diagon Alley. The actual entrance is right over there. You do have uh, Ollivanders over here, and then you have Madame Malkin's robe on the other side. I think we're going to head into Ollivanders next. They do have a case here in Ollivanders, and one new thing that they recently added, you can actually get your wand engraved. Like this one here says your name, and that one over there says uh, Eli, I believe. But you can get actually your name engraved on these wands, which is really, really cool. And over here, it actually shows you which type of uh, things and feathers and hair are in inside of those. Like you have laurel and phoenix feather, you have sycamore and unicorn hair. Definitely really interesting to take a moment to see what your wand is made out of. Then of course they do have a lot of different character wands. They have wands that aren't interactive and wands that are interactive. Here is the uh, Cho Chang. Over here the purple box is Nymphadora Tonks. Well, let's see what else we have. We have Professor Lupin hanging out over there. And again, these are all really nice Noble Collection wands. Like you have Ron Weasley's right there, Neville Longbottom, Floor Delacour, and you can actually get your name on their wand, which is really just something else. at Ollivanders. It is an incredible store. It is very, very small though. Keep that in mind. It's hard to kind of navigate and move yourself around, but they do have the new engraving on the wands, which is really something nice. For our next stop, let's actually head across the street here over to Madame Malkin's robes and check out the merchandise they have to offer. They have Hermione Granger's Yule Ball dress in the uh, window right there, which is really nice. Speaking of Hermione Granger's Yule Ball dress, she looks over here is the little kids version that there is $95.95 that is really nice though very good quality they do also have the uh, adult version here I'm not seeing the size on that but that is still like really really nice I do want to check out some of the merchandise next to it though it's a lot of really nice Hogwarts merch this says Hogwarts going down the whole side there it actually is embroidered there with the Hogwarts house crest and I do like all of the colors there they are $37 for those shirts 
and they have a really nice track jacket here that's embroidered with the uh, Hogwarts house crest for $80. You have some really nice pinstriping going down the sleeve, which is really cool. And also check out this V-neck tank top that they have. This one's actually really sparkly with all of the Hogwarts houses for $37. They even do sell some other uh, Harry Potter Noble Collection items like the Ravenclaw diadem. It comes in this really fancy box for $165. <coughs> Then over here, they actually have Hermione Granger's Time Turner for $50, and they do give the actual box that it comes in from the Noble Collection. And then over here is the Deathly Hollows necklace for $85, for $58. This section here has some really nice pajama tops. That's embroidered Gryffindor on the pocket. I like the extra color added there, and it goes down the entire way right there for $70. It's even on the arms. There's your Gryffindor. Over here is the Slytherin version. And of course, they also have Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff. Like, those are really nice. And how about this Hogwarts alumni banner that they have? That is actually really, really nice. For $29, like, everything is embroidered on there. All the different Hogwarts house colors. Like, that is a lot of fun. And then over here is a Hogwarts alumni t-shirt with some stripes there on the sleeve for $37. And right underneath, it looks like they have some more offerings here. This is a really nice coaster for your drink for $12. This is like a really heavy, like a slate almost, like that is really neat. And they do have a picture frame that holds a 5x7 or a 4x6 photo for $29. Behind the counter, they even have a selection of their Christmas sweaters. Look at this, you have Harry's sweater, you have Fred Weasley down there, and of course you have Ron and George Weasley. Definitely really, really awesome to actually get a Harry Potter sweater like from the Christmas. Also important to note, they do offer personalization here at Madame Malkin's. You could check out the shopkeeper for details, and they do have all the different house robes. Those are $139 a piece. Right over here is the Gryffindor one, and they do have actual wand pockets in there, which is really neat. It's embroidered Gryffindor, and then over here is your actual Slytherin one. Everything is awesome on these, though, how it's embroidered. And I do want to show you the backside of these, because it is equally as awesome. You have the color of the green there for uh, Slytherin and it does come to like a, a point there on the back side just like it does in the movies. Here's some of the offerings that they're actually showing personalized like this Hufflepuff scarf that they have with the badger there. It says Jake on it like that is really nice. Definitely really nice detail and some of the Christmas stockings like this one here with the uh, Hufflepuff right there actually is embroidered with Henry and you can get some of the backpacks also embroidered and these are very good quality again with your Hogwarts house logo and you can get your name on there. For our next stop, let's head into Nocturne Alley and check out the creepy store of Borgen and Burks. If you're here in Nocturne Alley, of course, you have to head into the Dark Arcs. Our dark arts and check out all of the awesome offerings over here at Borgen and Berg's. But they also have an awesome uh, wand spot over here for your interactive wands. So as soon as you come into Borgen and Berg's, you're greeted by these awesome new masks, and I love these. Again, the attention to detail on that is really awesome. Those are $30 a piece, and they do have an awesome Dementor shirt right over here, right next to it. Look at all the Dementors on there. It actually says it right underneath. Those are only $25 a piece. Here's a nice women's tank top for Borgen and Burks. It says Nocturne Alley, London. That is $30. Definitely very, very soft. And they do have a really nice Borgen and Burks pullover hoodie here with that awesome logo. That is $60. I do want to point out a really fun t-shirt over here though. Look at this. I serve time in Azkaban. Approach with extreme caution. Do not attempt to use magic against this person. Of course, some really other awesome shirts. Have you seen this witch? And then you have Bellatrix Lestrange. <laughs> Approach with extreme caution. That one is $30, of course, with her wanted poster. And then you have one over here. Have you seen this wizard? Azkaban prison with Sirius Black. That one there is $29.95. I love these ones though, with like the wanted posters. They even have the Bellatrix one over there in a really nice red color. Then for $13, they have a really nice magnet, undesirable number one with Harry Potter. That's lenticular. That one there is really cool. Let's see what else we can find over here. 
Oh wow, yeah, look at these. These are some really nice hourglasses with some spines, some skulls. And look at the other side of that. That is actually really, really cool. Here's a really nice women's shirt with a dark mark. I actually like the whole like vine all around there. That's actually really interesting. $35 for that one. And then over here is yet another really awesome dark mark shirt. I like the color contrast with the green there, like of Slytherin, and then it goes into the black. That is $38. A few other really awesome noble collection items. They have Lucius Malfoy's mask. It actually comes mounted on a wooden placard. It says Lucius Malfoy right there. And then right next here, it actually adds like the creepy factor with that lantern. This is Bellatrix Lestrange's mask. It says Bellatrix right there. Those are $110 a piece. And you can even take home the Mirror of Arised for $95. Another really fun item over here is a long sleeve shirt. It's a full button down with a bunch of the uh, Deathly Hollow symbols all over it. That is $70. Look at that though. Like that really pops. And then over here is another uh, Deathly Hollow symbol shirt for $35. This is like a three quarters length sleeve. That is really nice. And then I do want to show you an awesome Deathly Hollows coffee mug. And I like the size of the handle there. That is really cool. And it's kind of like carved in. That is $21. For $27, they also have a really nice Deathly Hollows hat. It's like very sparkly, like the whole design on the front there. Then it says the Deathly Hollows on the back side. That is really cool. And then over here, right next door, is an awesome clear purse that they have. It comes with a really nice strap with the Deathly Hollows symbol for $32. Looks like you could actually use that as a purse or a fanny pack. I had such a fun time today hanging out here at Universal Studios and the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. We actually got to go in all of the different stores. It was just a lot of fun doing an entire tour, showing you guys around. Definitely my favorite part hands down in any theme park and the merchandise is equally as amazing. If you'd like to further support the channel, please consider checking out our Patreon page. I'll let a link to that in the description box of this video. But if you like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, make today awesome.